Today, we've been hearing some of the most damaging evidence so far in the high-stakes criminal fraud trial against FTX founder Sam Bankman-Fried, and it's coming from people who know him and the company best. Giving testimony about the now bankrupt exchange was Gary Wang, who was Bankman-Fried's childhood friend, college roommate, and co-founder. Justice Department says Bankman-Fried defrauded FTX customers by illegally dipping into their funds to prop up his crypto hedge fund and spend on lavish real estate. Yahoo Finance's Alexis Keenan has been in the courtroom today. What is the latest, Alexis? Yeah, so this was the fourth day of the trial. So, so far, Sam Bankman fried he's faced four different witnesses, two of who you just mentioned, close, longtime friends, college roommates at MIT, and also uh, just longtime friends from childhood, one of them. But you talked about Gary Wang, and he and the other friend, uh, Adam Yadidia, they're both software developers, and they both worked at FTX as well as Alameda. And they go all the way back to, the company's founding and all the way back to 2017, 2019. And Gary Wang is a key to the government's case. He's the one who was up on the stand yesterday and today. And this is what he said. He said that the way that these two companies were set up allowed for Alameda to have special privileges to FTX customer deposits. And the way that Gary Wang said that this was done was that he was instructed by Sam Bankman Freed to write special special computer code that gave Alameda special privileges. And here are the privileges that he talked about. He said, for one, there was unlimited access to FTX funds because Alameda could carry negative balances, unlimited negative balances uh, on FTX's platform. So Alameda was basically a customer of X FTX with its own account also said that the Alameda was required to put up zero collateral on what was a $65 billion line of credit for the company, also exempting Alameda from an automatic liquidation, liquidation process. It was a feature that would cover losing margin positions for customers who were trading on the platform. And finally, he said that Alameda was allowed to place orders faster than other account holders. Now, Wang said that by 2020 late 2020, that he had brought this to Sam Bankman frieds attention. He brought concerns about negative balances on Alameda's balance sheets. After having run some queries about the company's balances, both FTX and Alameda, and he said that Bankman Freed said, well, that's OK, but make sure that you also include uh, the FTT, which is FTX's proprietary tokens and some other assets in order to make the math work. Now, uh, Wang said he again brought this problem to Bankman Freed's attention at a point when there was a deficit, and a negative balance for Alameda and therefore to FTX customers of three billion dollars. And as we know, the company eventually imploded with a negative $8 billion balance, not able to repay its customers. Now, the defense is starting to put up its cross-examination of Wang. And the point that the defense attorneys are trying to make on Bankman Freed's behalf so far is that Alameda needed the ability as a market maker to be able to run negative balances. But we'll have to hear the answer to why $65 billion lines of credit and unlimited access was the method by which these executives chose to go about running the company. Wang has already pled guilty to four felony accounts, so he is testifying on behalf of the prosecution, and he has his sentencing still ahead of him. Guys? And there is still more to come on that front from others. So much uh, more. more. Confidants of SPF. Thank you so much, Alexis.